Hey guys, I just wanted to get on here real quick and share something that the Lord is showing me. As we're leading up to this new year, I believe that this week in preparation to the new year is very critical and that God wants to share things with us as we prepare to cross over into a new year. Um, the, I heard three things in the spirit. I heard reset, authority, and obedience. And what I hear the spirit of the Lord saying is that he wants to reset us in his will. He wants to reset many of us in his will. And the reason he wants to reset us in his will is because he wants us to walk in authority. When I was praying, I saw many of us that were just living under this oppression. There were some areas of our life that were free and that we saw joy and we saw peace and we saw the, the spirit of God working. But there was other areas in our life where it was like confusion and oppression and darkness, loneliness, depression. And I heard the spirit of the Lord say, I want my people to live free. And the only way we can live free is if we live in authority, walking in the authority that Jesus gave us, right? How do we get access to that authority? We get access to that authority by obeying the voice of God. Also, this is another thing God showed me is that there's many voices right now in many of our lives. We have the voices of our friends. We have the voices of our family. We have the voices of social media posts and all these self-help things we watch that are not based in the word of God, but they're just based in people's opinions, you know, and we have all these voices and it's so loud that we can't hear the voice of God. It's so loud and it's so crowded and cluttered and scattery that we can't hear the one voice we need to hear to lead us into freedom, to lead us into joy, to lead us into the life abundant that God has called us to live. So I heard, I heard the Holy Spirit say, I wanna reset my people in authority. When you walk in authority, you walk in freedom. When you walk in the authority that Jesus died to give us, we walk in freedom. We walk in joy. You know, to to uh, to the onlooker, it looks like your life is a breeze, even though we know life is not perfect, right? But with Jesus Christ and with the power of the Holy Spirit, it is glorious. <laughs> with the Holy Spirit, your life can be glorious. Our lives can be glorious for the people of God. Right. I also heard the Lord say that God did not leave us on this earth without a leader. When Jesus ascended into the heavens, Jesus said, it's better that I go, that I may send my Holy Spirit. We are not on this earth without a leader. We are not on this earth without direction. I hear in the spirit, many of us saying, I'm just lost. I'm just confused. I just don't know what to do. I just... I don't know, I feel down. We live, and I'm not talking to unbelievers, I'm talking to believers. Sometimes we live as if we don't have a leader. And that leader is the Holy Spirit. And I believe that if this week we'll just take time to shut out voices, to shut out voices and just say, God, I just want to hear your voice. Your voice leads me beside quiet waters. Your voice restores my soul. Your voice is the voice that will lead me into the perfect, good, pleasing will of God. And that's where I want to live, right? That's where we want to live in the pleasing will of God. Amen. Um, and I just heard the Holy Spirit last thing is that he said, I'm going to deliver my people from being scattered. And the reason that we're scattered is because we have areas of compromise and areas that are not submitted to obedience. And because we're not in full obedience, we don't walk in dominion. We don't walk in authority. But I believe there is a holy reset coming this year and God wants to prepare us for it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I pray that this minister to you. I pray that this blesses you. And I pray that you take these words and you apply them if this is for you. God bless you and have an awesome day.